action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. Now, once again, we've got a lot to cover, so let's just jump right into it. And for today, let's start off with a little bit of Transformer news. So this week's Tuesday reveal from Hasbro for Transformers was a new Generation Select Shattered Glass Optimus Prime and Ratchet 2 pack. So once again, we're seeing some repaints here of, of previous Prime and Ratchet figures that were released, but in their shattered glass colorings and everything. Now this set is available for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, and will be shipping in February of next year. Now, while we're on the subject of Optimus Prime, I wanted to uh, share something with you, which I think is pretty cool looking. And this is something that is also available for pre-order now from places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. It is from Takara Tommy, and it is the Diclone Reboot DA-65 Battle Convoy VMAX exclusive figure. So this one is going to have a hefty price tag to it. It costs $299 or $300, bucks, and it is slated for release in March of next year. Now, in robot mode, uh, he stands about 7.1 inches tall. He is going to come with a container, a battle convoy figure A and figure B, the command vehicle, a maintenance deck, two guns, bullet core A, bullet core B, two consoles A, two consoles B, two consoles C, in other words, a bunch of consoles, uh, four decks, a crane rail, crane pillar, a uh, bullet core hanger, a claw, a chair, a diclone pilot, and and two additional weapons. So, um, if you're into the diclones, you know Optimus Prime and you know the original Transformers and, and such from Takara Tommy, this is one you're probably going to want to check out. Okay, now while we're on the subject of big expensive items, let's hop over to Star Wars and start off with some news on the Lego front. So this week we got official images for the upcoming Star Wars Most Icely Cantina Master Builder Series set. So if you're not familiar with these Master Builder Series sets, they are very large, almost like play sets uh, for Lego. Um, they announced one uh, just the other week for Harry Potter, and now we're getting one for Star Wars with the Most Icely Cantina. And these things are big and fairly expensive as well. So this set is going to run you about 350 bucks, and it is going to have about 3,187 pieces to it. It's going to stand about 7.5 inches in height and 20.5 inches wide and 23 inches deep. So um, you get a lot of mini figures, some vehicles and everything. And this set is going to be available um, on the Lego uh, website for VIP members starting on September 16th. And then it goes on sale everywhere starting on October 1st. For you folks who missed, may have missed out on that 2018 EU Black Series exclusive from Hasbro that featured uh, Han Solo and his brown hoth coat and Princess Leia and her hoth gear. It was the first time we uh, got the hoth Princess Leia, which was later re-released on a single card back. But really what kind of made this set uh, unique was the Han Solo. Instead of having the blue jacket, he had the brown jacket. You also got the little diorama scene that was made to look like the cave on Hoth and Empire Strikes Back. So this set has shown up on Target's website. Now, last time I checked, it was not available for actual purchase, but it looks like Target may be offering this set. I don't know if it'll be available in physical stores, but um, I would uh, keep checking the website. If you just do a search for Black Series, it should come up. They have a DCPI number for it and everything. It's going to cost you 50 bucks, which if I remember correctly is how much it cost. It would start out as an EU exclusive, but then was offered here in the United States as well. It select, uh, at, at least on, I think maybe Hasbro's Pulse's website or something. It, it was made available to folks here. But again, it looks like it might see a wider release. And if you missed out, it looks like, you know, again, you'll have another chance at getting it. For the rumor category, the folks at Yak Face are claiming they've gotten word that there is a vintage collection Razor Crest vehicle based on the Mandalorian TV series that um, is going to be again coming soon from Hasbro. No other details are available, no word on price or whether it's going to be a store exclusive or anything along those lines, but um, definitely looks like a good chance we are going to be getting a Mandalorian ship 
from the new Disney Plus series. And while we're on that subject, it was announced here recently that the second season will be premiering on Disney Plus starting on October 30th. And then finally, for Star Wars news, just today going up for pre-order and still available last time I checked is the new Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Darth Nihilus Black Series figure. So based on the video game, this is being offered as a GameStop exclusive and is slated for a release on October 26th. There have been rumors about this figure. I think I talked about it in a previous video, but definitely uh, there's been indications this figure was coming, and now we have the official images, and again, it is available for pre-order on the GameStop website now. Moving on to Power Rangers. So first of all, we finally have gotten an indication of where and how that Power Rangers six inch Dino Thunder White Ranger figure is going to be released. It is going to be released here in the United States as a Walgreens exclusive. It is actually available for purchase now on the Walgreens website. It just went up today. The figure had been out uh, for several weeks, I think over a month now overseas. That's where we first got a glimpse of this figure. Hasbro really didn't officially announce it until Walgreens put it up on their website today. Now one thing to note about this figure is you'll notice that the helmet is not completely accurate. The black markings around the eyes are missing. However, Hasbro surprisingly has come out and said they're going to fix that for you for free if you contact their customer service. And you know, if you buy, assuming you buy the figure from Walgreens, if you contact their customer service, you can actually request them to send you an updated head sculpt with the black markings. And according to them, you know, that they put out on their social media, they will send that out to you for free. For Power Ranger rumors, uh, No Pink Spandex has put out word that they've got an indication that Hasbro is going to soon be offering deluxe figures for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. So we've seen that with both the Star Wars Black Series and Marvel Legends. These figures run about 30 bucks each. And it looks like the first two figures they're doing in the deluxe scale are going to be two villains. And the first one is King Sphinx. And then the second one is a uh, pumpkin wrapper. So I don't follow Power Rangers that closely, but both of these guys look very unique. And even not being a huge Power Rangers fan, I, I, I could see being kind of interested in these two. So um, if you've been looking for some more villains for your, your uh, lightning collection line, it looks like they are gonna be coming. And according to No Pink Spandex, these two figures will be out by January of next year. For you DC Multiverse fans, if you've been waiting to try and pre-order that Multiverse Animated Series Teen Titans Animated Series Cyborg figure, it is now available for pre-order on the Amazon website. I believe right now they're the only ones that have it up for pre-order. They are listing this figure with a September 30th release date. So this figure is actually, according to Amazon, is going to start shipping at the end of this month. And as far as I can tell, it looks like maybe this is just being done as a single release, it not being shipping with any other figures. Originally, it was indicated this figure was going to ship in the wave with the uh, the Rebirth Flash and the Rebirth Joker and the Azrael and the Batman armor figure. But those figures are actually not slated for release in, until October. So, and again, this figure went up, those figures went up for pre-order the other week. And now we're just now getting our first pre-order for Cyborg uh, just today. So again, best I can tell, this is kind of, uh, I guess, shipping as its own thing. Uh, maybe because it's an animated series figure, I, I don't really know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's coming, it's up for pre-order now. Um, so if you want to get it, you know, head over to Amazon and I will put a link to that in the video description below. Now, while we're on the subject of McFarlane Toys, this week they also teased another figure for their 7-inch scale Mortal Kombat 11 line. So this one is Liu Kang, and I'm guessing this is an early prototype image that they're showing us uh, based on the, the paint clumping on the chest there. I, I don't think that's intentional. And it's unclear, you know, what the other, usually these ship two per wave, and you know, it'll be interesting to see if the second figure that this one will be shipping with is the Shea Khan figure I talked about last week that kind of accidentally leaked out in one of Todd McFarlane's videos. So uh, no details, no specific details, other than they did say uh, uh, Liu Kang here was gonna be released in January of next year. Bandai last week announced that they're gonna be doing some new Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine figures. So they initially did that eight inch Space Marine figure that they offered through the games workshop website uh, last year that sold out very quickly. 
and now they're going to be doing two more figures based on imperial fists and the salamanders so uh, basically a yellow and green versions of, of the Space Marine. Now these figures are said to go up for uh, pre-order on the, the Games Workshop website starting on September 12th. And the figures are going to cost about $100 each. Okay, and then on the NECA front this week, they announced that they're doing another figure from the John Carpenter's They Live movie with Roddy Roddy Piper. So they've done a couple figures from this movie. This is another 8-inch retro cloth figure. And this one is being sold exclusively through Shout Factory. So it is of the Frank Armit character who was played by Keith David in the movie. And you get two weapons. Those were actually teased. This was one of the things they teased back in July at their Comic-Con at Home event. So, uh, and that's what pretty much we figured it was, is another They Live figure. So it is Frank and um, sold individually. However, you have to get it through the Shout Factory website. It is up on their website now. The figure itself is costing $39.99 and you can just buy the figure if you want. Or there's a couple other options where you can get some movie bundles. You know, Shout Factory specializes in selling DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. So um, that's really kind of is to entice you to buy one of their bundles. But if you already have the movie or what have you, then they are selling the figure separately. Though it is a price, you know, it has a hefty price tag of $39.99. You know, I, I'm not sure why it costs that much, but but there you go. But if you're a huge fan of the of the movie or just a huge fan of Keith David, then you might want to check this one out. He also has glasses that are, of course, removable um, that you can put on the figure. So, um, like I said, if you're a huge fan, then, then this is something you might want to check out. Okay, and then finally, I've got some Marvel Legend news for you guys. So this weekend, we were kind of treated to a surprise leak on the Eternals movie front. One of Hasbro's first Marvel Legends based on the upcoming movie uh, leaked out. I don't know exactly uh, where this person got this figure, but it is of a figure of the character known as Ajak, who is played by the actress Selma Hayek in, in the upcoming movie. Now, based on the packaging that, that the person showed, giving us looks at both the sides and the back of the packaging, this looks like it's going to be some type of one-off store exclusive. You know, there's no indications of other figures in a wave like we, we see with a regular release. Also no indication of a Build-A-Figure. So um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be some type of store exclusive. I'm not sure what store it will be, but um, definitely uh, it does not look like a regular release figure. Now, you may recall back at the beginning of the year, thanks to the Canadian uh, wholesaler, Everest Wholesales, they put up listings for an actual regular wave of Eternals figures that included seven different figures. They also listed a deluxe figure for a villain from the Eternals that would be coming. Now, we didn't have actual names of the figures in those waves, and we still don't have any kind of official confirmation. Originally, this wave was slated for release about this time, uh, but then the movie, you know, which was going to be released in November, got delayed, got pushed until February, February 12th. And right now, you know, that could even be delayed further. We really just don't know what's going on with the movies and, and MCU at the moment. But until, you know, things like the Black Widow movie come out, you know, I don't expect a trailer for the Eternals movie to be released by Disney. And until Disney releases some type of trailer or something giving us an official look at these characters, I mean, they have released some basic concept art that was shown during the D23 convention back in 2019 but we really have not seen anything more for this movie since then. So until we get that, I don't expect Hasbro to officially announce these. You know, they did make a brief comment uh, mentioning that the Eternals wave was delayed until next year in keeping with the movie, even though they hadn't officially announced that they were doing Eternals, but, but they did mention that in one of their live stream videos. But being that these figures were already made, were going to be you know released around this time originally. That means they're likely sitting around in a warehouse someplace. So the likelihood that these figures are going to start leaking out like this Ajax figure, I would say, is quite high. So even though we probably won't get an official announcement until at least November on these, when 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 the Black Widow movie is supposed to debut, and that again could be delayed, you know, possibly. So we'll have to see. But I don't really expect anything on Eternals from Disney until around November time frame. So um, with keeping in that, I don't expect an official announcement or reveal for any of these Eternal figures. But again, 
they might be leaking out. We're already getting information on the actual figures that are in the regular wave. So YouTuber Rectangular once again has come across uh, actual names for the figures that were listed and I've not seen anything to contradict this information. So uh, obviously it is a rumor, I'm not saying it's 100%, but this is likely going to be the seven figures that are released in, in the wave. And I believe these will all be movie based figures. So um, it does not look like we're gonna get any comic book based figures in, in this wave. Probably my guess is that this was gonna be the only wave of Eternals that they were doing. And um, though I, I do imagine there's gonna be some, probably some more store exclusives as well. but. Anyway, the, the characters, and I'm just going to go down, and some of these names, um, because I'm not super familiar with all these character names uh, from the Eternals, but I'll pronounce them as best as I can. But Icarus, which is one of the main characters from Eternals, uh, is and going to be played by the actor Richard Madden in the movie. That is slated for this line. Uh, Cersei, which uh, I think most of us who read the comics in the 90s are familiar with, because she did for a while. She became a member of the Avengers. And she is uh, uh, slated to be played by actress uh, uh, Gemma Chan. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Then uh, another figure, uh, Makari. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, playing by uh, being played by Lauren uh, Riddleoff, and I might pronounce that or mispronounce that last name as well. But um, she's slated to play that character. Sprite is another character slated for this wave and uh, being played by Leah McHugh. Uh, Fastos, uh, maybe butchering that one, I don't know, playing, uh, being played by uh, Brian Henry. Kingo and then uh, Droog is, is the final figure rounding out that, that wave. And the Build-A-Figure, I, I can only speculate about. We never get listings of what the Build-A-Figures are. We really don't ever know until we actually see like packaging revealing what it is or Hasbro comes out and officially says or what have you. But if I had to speculate, and again, this is pure speculation, I'm going to say that the Build-A-Figure is probably going to be, possibly could be the coolest thing. You know, something that even if you're really not too keen on buying MCU versions of the Eternals, you may still want to pick these up just so you can get the Build-A-Figure. And that is uh, the, the Judge, the Celestial known as the Judge, who's actually the leader of the Celestials. There was concept art for the Celestials that were released back during that D23 convention in 2019, and the Judge was one of the characters that was portrayed in that concept art. There have also been Funko Pop listings that have leaked out, indicating that there'll be Funko, Funko Pop versions of, of this guy, giving us you know, further indication that he's in fact going to be in the movie. So, um, and then, there was that kind of cryptic clue that Hasbro gave where Dwight gave where it was unclear whether, you know, it wasn't totally clear whether he was making a clue towards at that time, the HasLab Sentinel or something else. But, but essentially what he had said was next year we were, we would see the largest build a figure that Hasbro has ever done Hasbro. And I think even toy biz has ever done, you know, essentially the largest build a figure. And so this character I think would definitely fit that clue if in fact that's what he was talking about and not the HasLab Sentinel. Again, it was really kind of back then, it was unclear exactly what, what Dwight was referring to, but since he said next year and the Sentinel was announced this year, I'm gonna go with you know the, the this Build-A-Figure might be the Celestial. Now, will it be as big as the HasLab Sentinel? I would find that hard to believe, but again, hopefully it should and will be if this is the route they're going to go with the build a figure it will be bigger than any build a figure that we've seen in the line including the ones that toy biz did like galactus and the sentinel and things back in the day so we'll have to wait and see again this is just pure speculation there's no uh indication because the the store listings and stuff don't give it tell us what the build a figure is but but that would be that makes the most logical sense now the deluxe figure is uh going to be based on the character uh Crew, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's a, a deviant. He's one of the. He's uh, rumored to be the main bad guy in the movie, and the deviant is a is a, an opposing race to the Eternals created by the Celestials, and and like I said, he's he's uh, been rumored to be the main bad guy or antagonist, as they say, in, in the upcoming movie. So um, he is also listed in one of those leaked Funko Pop 
uh, lists, uh, so giving us indication that he is going to be in the movie. Now, other characters that I suspect will end up seeing, I don't have any hardcore information, but I'd be very surprised if we didn't see, are characters like Thena, who will be played by Angelina Jolie, or, or the Dane Whitman character, who's better known by most comic book readers as the Black Knight, who will be played by uh, Game of Thrones star Kit Harington. You know, those are probably the two biggest stars in this movie, so it's hard to believe they wouldn't be doing action figures of those two. And then also I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up seeing a Gilgamesh figure, possibly if they ended up doing a second deluxe figure. That's being played by actor Don Lee. But Gilgamesh, you know, is another character that if you read the comics back in the 90s, you're probably familiar with. He was for a short time part of the Avengers. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. I'd love to hear your thoughts and everything I talked about in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. As always, stay safe out there, guys. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.